Very well. Uh, thank, so thank you, you for, for working with us in good faith. Uh, I see a number of new faces, so I will ask for witnesses and support. Sure. My name is Piper Cole with Sun Microsystems. Okay. Um, actually, actually, we had sort of worked out an order, and so if you don't mind, Mr. Chair, I'll turn it over to one of my colleagues first. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mark Bohannon, uh, B-O-H-A-N-N-O-N. I'm the general counsel for the Software and Information Industry Association. We are the largest association of software and digital content companies uh, located in Washington, D.C., but obviously uh, uh, care deeply about what's going on here in California. Uh, uh, we're here to testify in support of 1668. Um, we represent a variety of different software uh, models from proprietary to so-called open source, so we're here to say that this is a good bill um, and that it's the right time for this bill. Um, as uh, as Swinman Leno said, right now the state of California um, is in the process of uh, uh, dealing with vendors who are updating their formats across the board. Uh, that is leading to dramatic changes uh, in possible ways that uh, uh, the agencies may or may not be able to exchange documents among themselves currently or much less be able to archive them for future dates. Um, those changes are happening right now. Um, and I think this bill, uh, as amended by, um, as suggested by Mr. Wen Lino, allows the agencies to make sure that they are not locked in to close proprietary uh, systems when it comes to the documents that are essential to their day-to-day -day business and the services they deliver to citizens. Um, that kind of uh, avoiding lock-in is very important. And that window of opportunity is right now, and that's why we are here to support this bill. Because if you fail to act, um, the consequences are, growing very, are, are very real and go to the heart of why California uh, relates to its citizens. And we have examples from emergencies like Hurricane Katrina and the tsunami in Thailand where there was an inability to exchange vital information. So it's this kind of bill, this kind of approach that we believe will give the agencies and California citizens the benefits of open standards every day, not just in times of crisis. And it's this kind of approach that we think uh, will enable the uh, state of California to, to manage and get control over uh, the way that it exchange and, uh, exchanges and archives documents um, across the board. Thank you very much, and again, we support 1668. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Marino Marsic. I'm the uh, Managing Director of the Open Document Format Alliance. Uh, launched one year ago, uh, the Alliance now has about 380 member organizations in 50 countries. Uh, they include large and small uh, software companies. Some of the more well-known names include Google, Sun, IBM, Oracle, Novell, or Red Hat. Our membership includes many governments, for instance, such as the city of Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, and we also have many library and archival groups in our membership, such as the American Library Association. Uh, we, too, support AB 1668. Uh, basically, most documents created by you and the state are, in fact, in a proprietary closed documents. What does this mean? Uh, why the bill? Uh, well, it means that California and its citizens may not be able to access and modify archived documents at some future date. Uh, it may mean that California and its citizens may not be able to receive and open and use documents in times of emergencies. And it means that uh, California citizens may be forced to purchase a particular brand of software in order to interact with the government electronically. Uh, this bill requires the state to move to an open format. And what that means, the benefits that provides, is uh, citizen choice. I mentioned before, no California would be required to purchase a particular brand of software to interact electronically with the state. Another benefit is document sovereignty. Uh, the state's documents belong to its people and should not be locked in a closed format. Well, this, the bill also levels the playing field. It allows uh, many different software companies to compete on features and price. Uh, finally, uh, the bill uh, really advances California's interest in emergency preparedness. Uh, Hurricane Katrina and the Asian tsunami uh, really demonstrated the degree to which public safety and disaster relief can be uh, hindered by a lack of common standards. Uh, governments, including the government of California, need a common document format uh, to really seamlessly share and secure access to information in times of uh, uh, emergency. Uh, finally, uh, there are considerable cost savings uh, uh, that uh, would accrue if California moved to the op open format. Um, I have a list here of 50 governments at the state, at the national, state, or uh, local level that are in the process of moving to open file formats. 
Uh, and they've demonstrated software savings in the move in the range of 60 to 90 percent. Uh, that's real money for California and its citizens. Um, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, uh, I commend the bill sponsor and, uh, and this committee for consideration of the bill and uh, would be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you. Thank you. Additional witnesses? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'll be brief. I'm Pete Price representing the California Association of Environmental Health Administrators, 50, 58, one in each county of the directors of environmental health. They cover everything from restaurant inspections to septic tanks, all that sort of thing. And they share a lot of data between counties, but particularly from county to the state. And actually, their support from this association came up from the IT personnel in a number of the counties who run into a number of problems today in uh, sharing the data back and forth with the state. And so they were enthusiastic about this bill, and I'm here to register their support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Additional witnesses in support? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Piper Coal with Sun Microsystems, a um, $13 billion, 35,000 employee company headquartered in California. We are very much in support of this bill. As you've heard, I think, from the other people who have testified, this is all about access, enabling people to access government files without having to buy a particular application. It's about choice. It's about having choice among several applications to be able to access information for the government. And it's about innovation, because when you have choice, when you have multiple applications that are competing, you get more innovation and you get lower prices. This is not about technology mandates. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the opposite of technology mandates. When you require an open format, all you're requiring is that there is a blueprint that anybody can implement and that then anybody who chooses to can implement that format and there can be multiple competing applications. This is also, I think, a real opportunity as the world is trending for this for California to take the lead and to be the first state that passes legislation that really requires an open file format, requires open standards because this, this really gives the government ownership of its documents. It's not beholden to any particular application provider to be able to access its documents, and its citizens, its constituents are not required to take any particular application by any particular application. So I think so many states throughout the country and so many governments throughout the world look toward California as a place of innovation. I think this is really California's opportunity. Thank you very much for considering this. I commend the author for a job very well done on this, and I'm prepared to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any additional witnesses in support? Rob Grosskloser with the County Recorders Association, uh, also in support. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else in support? <laughs> 